Uh, Jamie and Sefton, congrats on the win. Um, do you guys think you got hosed for game of the year? <laughs> That's a great question. It's an easy one to start with. Uh, I think, you know, there were so many great games this year, so it was so difficult to pick a winner. So many of our team are playing Skyrim themselves, so you know, it's hard to say it's not a great game. I think you guys got hosed. <laughs> yeah. Do you agree? So is the answer yes, no? <laughs> I think it was just difficult to pick this year, I really do. And I think as well, when you look at Skyrim against Batman, they are totally different games, you know, like they're not, it's very hard to compare, in my opinion, you know, if you go into that game, you'll have That sounds game. like a no, Sefton. <laughs> okay, um, so do you think the awards show was better this year compared to last year, overall? I think it was a great show, there was some really fantastic premieres, you know, the trailers, really exciting games coming up, and um, yeah, it was a really good show, yeah, it was a great show. The, the, last year there was a fake jokey award last year, do you guys remember that? No, it communicates the one the year before, so this one was great. Okay. I don't know all the trailers, what games are you guys looking for? You liked a bit of Metal Gear, didn't you? I liked a bit of Metal Gear, that got me really excited, I thought that was awesome, but I like the noise and stuff as well, I like the noise. Okay. Um, so, you know, you guys done that Arkham City. Where, where is Batman's open here? Are you guys done with Batman? Alright. We've got lots of surprises. <laughs> Arkham Universe, <laughs> Arkham World, <laughs> Gotham City. Are we. G <laughs> Gotham City, right? It's gonna... We've got lots of surprises coming. <laughs> Asriel said Gotham City was going to burn. Like, wh what did he mean? Did he mean literally burn or. <laughs> what Azrael was that in the game? Was it John Paul Valley or was it the new Azrael? It's the new Azrael. Okay. Any 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 other DLC? Uh, the 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 skin pack ju that just came out for Arkham City. Any new DLC you want to share with us? Um, we've got uh, there's some stuff coming up. There's some maybe hopefully a little surprise before Christmas for everyone as well. So there's some. There's some exciting stuff coming, definitely, yeah. What's the surprise? I can't tell you now. I'm going to be surprised. You can surprise us now. You can surprise us now. Though you are game of the year, how does it feel to be game of the decade? <laughs> That's what you want. That's the one that I mean, I think uh, it's crazy for Zelda being in. It was, you know, for me, growing up playing Zelda, it was just phenomenal. Um, got Skyward Sword, so looking forward to that now. Big pile of games to play from, you know, working so hard in Arkham City. You can actually start to work through those games now. So, oh, I don't know what else. I mean, I definitely would have picked Zelda first. Yeah. Zelda would have been first for me, definitely. Yeah. So, uh, Mark Madness is. Joker is crazy though, right? <laughs> <laughs> he says a lot of crazy stuff. <laughs> a lot of crazy stuff. I wouldn't listen to him. <laughs> Do you think Mark Hamill will be proud that his character won the award? Yeah, guy. yeah, I think so. Yeah, I mean, it was something that uh, Mark really added a lot to as well with that piece, and we had a bit of fun with it. And uh, yeah, I think so, definitely. I think, you know, when you think of Joker and Mark Hamill, I don't think for me there's a distinction between the two. You know, Mark Hamill brings Joker to life. You can't have Joker, in my mind, when I read the comics and when we play the game, without Mark Hamill. So when he goes in and does the voice recording, it really brings the whole character to life. So he's definitely a big part of that movie, no, no doubt about it. If Rocksteady could do a game based on any other DC Universe character, who would it be? Or is it just about Batman for you guys? Superman. <laughs> Superman? There's so many good characters to pick from. Uh, I don't know, there's so many good characters. Take my challenge, Superman. <laughs> Superman, yeah? <laughs> I mean, it was 
person has to deal more, I suppose, powerful, independent characters, whether it be male or female. So I think that's the way we like to deal with all of our characters. So, <laughs> I actually, yeah. I think yeah. it's well run to think about all the female. <laughs> All the female characters in the universe are really strong, but I think that's one thing, you know, like Catwoman is one of the most badass characters in the whole Batman universe. So we had really good fun with that. You know, and so yeah, she really kicked ass in the game, it's really good fun to, to work with. Now that you guys have a hit game, you're winning all these awards, could you maybe ask Warner Brothers Interactive to give a give us a DLC version of Batman Returns from the SNES? I'll ask them, I'll ask them right now. Thank you. <laughs> That was a good Batman game. Come on. No? Think you okay. might make a co-op Batman in the future? I mean, we actually looked at a little bit of multiplayer when we started this one, because um, when we start, we always look at different ideas, and multiplayer was something that we looked at, but we really felt that the best game would be just focusing on Arkham City and creating that. But I wouldn't rule out any multiplayer or anything to do in the future. It's definitely an interesting space. I think if we wanted to do anything like that, we would want to do something different. That people hadn't really seen before. And so, I think if we were ever to get into multiplayer, that, that would be what we'd be Batman teaming up with Superman. <laughs> <laughs> you guys look, that's it, it's in the multiplayer, isn't it? Right? <laughs> you guys look, that's it, it's in the multiplayer. Right? <laughs> you guys look, pressure to do multiplayer, it seems like a lot of games are tagging it on. Yeah, I think there's a lot of pressure to sort of follow and, and do all sorts of game types uh, and all sorts of fashionable things to do in games. And I think that we just really try and focus on what we enjoy making and what we can make in that time. Um, so yeah, like Seppi said, we do tend to explore a lot of different options, but yeah, it's a lot of pressure. I think the big thing for us is that we're always trying to make a game that we're passionate about. We're always trying to make a game that we really believe in because I think that's, that energy is what you need to kind of carry you through. So you really want to make something where everyone really believes in the idea and you know fundamentally has that passion. And hopefully that passion really comes across in the game as well. But if you're starting out, you know, like it's a, in a sense, it's a great time to start out with so many digital distribution like you know uh, avenues now that were never there before. So. You've got that kind of kernel of a great idea, and I'm a really big believer that kind of having a great idea kind of trumps everything. And you can see this things like Minecraft, which is a great idea that can get so many people excited and playing. I think I, I think it's more open than it's ever been in a strange way. <laughs> Why don't you hold on to it whilst we do the question? <laughs> I'm running out of juice. Yeah, I mean, I think 3D gaming is interesting. I think it's something that worked really well in Batman because of actually gliding through the city and actually seeing the, the parallax of the city moving from past the character. I mean, I think as well, there's sort of pros and cons of it. Like when I'm at home playing games, I just kind of work out on my sofa, so like I don't want to, you know, put on your head. But like, I think there's different moods. If you're really engaged, sometimes you want to get into 3D and put it all on, and sometimes you just want to lounge. So really, I think it's different for different players, you know? Like, for me, when I'm actually a lazy gamer, so I just veg <laughs> out when I get home. But, you know, I think it, it can be, it can definitely add to it. I it's done right. I think it's a really interesting place. I really do. And I think that, you know, I think we'll see a wave of stuff that comes out that maybe is just what you'd expect. But I think in you know, in a few years we'll start to see some really interesting augmented experiences using tablets whilst you play. I think it's a really interesting place. Jamie and Sefton, if the Wii U ever got off the ground, or ever gets off the ground, would you guys like to make it? No. Well, I mean, if it ever if it ever gets off the ground, would you guys like to do a Batman port for that system? I think we've already confirmed that there is a Batman Arkham City port on the Wii U. Yeah, coming. So we're excited about any, that. Any 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 more details on that? Will it be different because of that interesting controller and all? I mean, definitely we'll, we'll uh, be looking to take advantage of that. In, 
Lara Croft? <laughs> Talia? Oh, Harley, Harley. She would be crazy. She's pregnant now. But she's pregnant now, now isn't she? Thank you guys and congratulations.